Well, we're up here on this rise and you can really get a good vision of what the lake looks like from here. Just a shell of its former glory. We're seeing lows that haven't been seen since the lake was being filled up more than 50 years ago. If you come with me, you can see that bleached part of the rock out there. That's where the water used to be and you can see just how low it is. Now this of course all has major implications all across the west. Lake Powell's water has now fallen to less than 35 feet away from the threshold that prevents Glen Canyon Dam from generating hydroelectric power, electricity that lights homes and businesses across the west. Hydroelectric power production is not expected to stop, but it's getting dangerously close. Plus, drought conditions have meant less electricity has been produced through the dam because the generators inside rely on the force of the water passing through them. So less water means less force, and that means less electricity. Then there's all the people that rely on Colorado River water. 40 million people across the West use this water for some or all of their water needs. It's also important for agriculture, and here locally, the lake is a source of recreation. It's sad. It's really sad, and I, I feel bad that we've kind of created it, and we're not really willing to take responsibility for it. Over the last couple of years, you could see a lot of the water loss. Uh, we're really low right now, as you see people walking up and down the hillside to get down to the water line. Yesterday, we went to Antelope Point Marina, where the end of a massive boat ramp is now about 50 feet above the water line. It's now closed to motorboats and kayakers now have to scramble down a steep and rocky bank to get down to the water. Now there is some good news. Uh, the lake level is expected to rise with the spring runoff, but it isn't going to be enough to really change the look of this lake. Luckily, though, uh, the power source over at the dam, that is not expected to stop. Uh, they're going to continue to be able to generate power, so the lights aren't going to be going off anytime soon. But we are getting dangerously close to that threshold. Guys, back to you. Max, when you get close to that threshold, the hope is, is that it really has gotten the attention of some of the people who recreate on the lake. Because even if you're not in one of the seven surrounding states that depend on the electricity there from Glen Canyon Dam, um, people do want to preserve their recreation. So does it seem like yeah. when you talk with folks that they have an awareness and they want something done? Oh, absolutely. I mean, it's impossible to not notice the change in the lake levels, right? Some marinas have had to be closed because the water level is too low. Houseboats haven't been, been able to be launched out on the lake. So, you know, there is that recreation aspect. And then, of course, the fact that so many people depend on this water to live, right? Life out here in the West depends on Colorado River water. And a lot of people, uh, they, they see that it's important to protect. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.